New telly uh, on the weekend, Miss Marple, and there is a new Miss Marple. Julie McKenzie. Mm. She's lovely, and she's in. I think, is it Friday she's in? She is, but I tell you what, she met her match with Alison Hammond. Have a look at this. No, because we Alison is back, of course, and she's done all the kind of showbiz... Uh, red carpet stuff and all those hotel things that they all go to. But she's been allowed backstage <laughs> on this one. You don't often get a backstage pass. So uh, they've allowed her backstage and it's all murder, mystery Imagine if we had Miss Marple backstage here. Who'd know what mm. to go on. OK, let's find out how Alison got on. She's uncovered a few clues about the new series. Hello, Miss Ample here, investigating my latest perplexing mystery. And of course, the first rule of detecting is never trust the butler. Let me see. I didn't do it, sign the butler. Aha! It's a likely story. It's a textbook error to believe any clue that's handed to you on a plate. But the clues do tell me that today, amateur spinster sleuth Miss Marple will be shot. But don't worry. Only with a camera on set, and I'm here to investigate. And the Marple story under investigation today begins with a murder <laughs> of the super wealthy Rex Fortescue, who is discovered with a pocket full of rye. Poison? Poor chap never stood a chance. But before the hunt could begin for Rex's murderer, the producers faced a hunt of their own when the previous Miss Marple, Geraldine McEwen, hung up her knitting needles. Now that is interesting. And an equally brilliant actress, Julia McKenzie, was needed to fill her rather sensible shoes. A quantity of grain, believed to be rye, was found in one of his pockets. Have you got over the shock yet of getting the pass? No, not at all. I, I'm, in a very unmarple like phrase, still gobsmacked. Um, I mean, I only heard about this about a month ago. I was in South Island, New Zealand, and my phone went, and my agent said, well, you are the new Miss Marple. My legs went quite hollow, and I... Well, I couldn't believe it. <laughs> Back in the story, the Fortescue family are having trouble believing Rex is... Dead. Poisoned. Poor Daddy. He was such a ghastly man. Suspicion soon falls on the family and the staff, including the housekeeper, Miss Dove, played by former friends and cold feet star, Helen Baxendale. I didn't do it, you know. But then I suppose everybody says that, don't they? I hear this is one of your first period dramas. How are you finding it, Helen? Um, well, I I'm really enjoying it. You get to have lovely hairdo and makeup and... Um, and we're all speaking in quite a kind of clipped English accent. Are you sure about that, Miss Dove? Perfectly. So when you go home, what do your kids make of your beautiful hair? Um, well, they, they just think I'm a, a proper mother at last. <laughs> Who's got a proper hairdo? I don't look a mess. My daughter's always telling me to brush my hair, so she's delighted. And we are delighted to report that Helen isn't the only big-name guest star. Former spook Matthew McFadden and the Royal Family's Ralph Little are... Inspector Neil, Sergeant Pickford. Well, I can't really give too much away, but it... it, it away. Could, it could. Basically, uh, I did it. No, <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty much the only one you know who didn't because I'm the investigating officer. Plus, there's the late, great Wendy Richard as the cook. You speak the truth and shame the devil. Well, quite. And there's the mysterious asylum inmate, played by Prunella Scales. That's Mrs Mackenzie, who's a little faulty upstairs. How stupid you are. Charming. But the point is there's lots to investigate. Cue the arrival of a certain sprightly spinster. The mistress of the house, please. Who has suspicious characters and more... Murder. ...to uncover. And talking of murder, that leads me nicely to the subject of corpsing on set. Look at the young Errol Flynn batch. Now, I did notice you were getting the giggles just then. Oh, I'm so that sorry off? you were here. <laughs> but that it was disgusting. No, that's the first time, and I suppose it must prove it's the first time I've probably been properly relaxed. It's nerve-wracking. You know, you're coming into something new with people you don't know in a role that people love. And um, it's, it's a little daunting, so I might have been a little bit tight-cheeked for the first week or so, but I'm, I'm starting to relax now. We did have a bit of a giggle today, but I don't, I don't think it caused too much consternation. <laughs> but consternation is exactly what Miss Marple's investigations seem to be causing in the household. Can I help you? <laughs> 
So what are the police doing? Time to find out from the ever cheeky Ralph Little, who on this occasion was extremely lippy. Literally, here are the mug shots. Does that does that do it for you? It does. It yeah, does. Yeah, it's probably really might. kind of big. Is it, isn't is it? it big? Yeah. No, I am. Um, I had. It was a bit of a football accident. I was playing football a couple of nights ago, and uh, I, to be fair, I'd done him as well. I went that way, and I went that way, and he I was, and I went around him, and he, he tried to turn <laughs> to come with me, and as he turned, his head whacked me in the oh, face man. and split my lip open. I've had, had to have three stitches. Oh dear. So how are you covering up that lip? Um, yeah, my character does a lot of thinking, like this. <laughs> and when he speaks, and occasionally when he speaks, he... Hmm. <laughs> so strange, don't you think? No kissing now. Sorry, I was gonna, you know, clap really? my Really? Listen, they're big, they're like... big and luscious, as long as you're <laughs> no. gentle with No, 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 it's all right. It's no? all right. The, the does, stitches does are sticking that, out. Not, not I'm, I'm, not, I'm not gonna go. No? Yeah? <laughs> See any on the side of that? Come on. Give us a little... No, 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 that's all right. Right, let me just brush the stitches out of the way and you can have it. No, 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 it's all right. Okay, all right. <laughs> Maybe next time we'll see you again. Off. It hurts Sorry. Off. <laughs> Meanwhile, it's the pride of the police that's hurting when Miss Marple discovers the significance of the pocket full of rye. There you are, you see. <laughs> Mrs Lance Fortescue, what a charming woman, she said to me that there didn't seem to be any rhyme or reason, but it's surely the rhyme that strikes one. Is it? You haven't, by any chance, gone into the question of blackbirds? Hmm, mm, yes. Who was it that put the blackbirds in Rex Fortescue's pie? And why? The mystery is hot enough, even if it was a bit nippy during filming. But are there any downsides to playing this iconic character? It's a funny thing, you know. When you dress like this all day, you do feel old. And I'm just so pleased to get in my jeans and plimmies when I, when I get out of here and, and feel like myself again. Time to leave the crime scene. But if you enjoy a classic murder mystery, make sure you investigate Marple this Sunday. Well, listen, it's lovely meeting you and Thank good you. luck. Thank you very Marple. much. Thank you. I hope you'll enjoy it. I am sure we will. But before I go, I asked Ralph to show me his equipment. His police equipment. Honestly. Because I heard that, like his name, it's little and something must be done. Not being funny, it's a little bit small, isn't it? Well, that, that's not a magnifying glass. There's no need for that, you know. It, this. You know, I've never had any... That's a magnifying glass. That's, uh, that's sort of a metaphor for my life, really. <laughs> in fact, to be honest, I could probably do with... Can I... I might keep this just in case that somebody else says, you know, it's a bit small and... <laughs> Well, maybe you should keep this one. Yeah, maybe I will. <laughs> this is a, that's a bit small, is it, love? <laughs> have a look through that. I'm sure you'll be happy. You know what I'm talking about. There you go, have a look. Hey, take it, come here. Take it, go. <laughs> She's gone, and more Definitely senses mean. than one there. <laughs> uh, gosh, you wouldn't recognise Ralph there in that. Yeah, Julie McKenzie, yeah. going to look forward to her on Friday. Uh, give you a chance to put a question to her if you want to do that. You're a fan of Miss Marple, you're a fan of Julia in general, because you remember her. Fresh Fields. Do you Anton... remember Fresh Fields with Anton, Anton Rogers? Rogers, yeah. yeah, yeah that's right. I loved that. Um, this morning at ITV.com with those sort of questions or queries or anything like that. Yeah.